to Pentagram Studios Presents, a conversation with the wizard and our very special guest from Down Under, WWE legend, Bushwhacker Luke. Wow! G'day, mateys! Wizard, you being the master mind and manager and mentalist who can see the future of wrestling, past and present, please present to us what you see about the future of this next big bout, which is coming up Saturday, August 28th at Lee's Palace in Toronto. I don't have to be a mentalist or a thought reader to know that this gentleman to my immediate left is going to be securing a victory over Bloody Bill Scullion at Lee's Palace on the 28th of August. I'm going to explain to you simply this. You are looking at a legend. You are not only looking at a bushwhacker, you are looking at a sheep herder. And the sheep herders invented hardcore wrestling. They invented it, they mastered it, and Bloody Bill Scullion, you are what I consider nothing but a cheap imitation. Who is this nefarious adversary of yours? It doesn't matter who he is. He is apparently one of the most vicious and violent, and I got to admit, I have seen him do some nasty, horrible things in my day. Over the years, he's carved up individuals with torn up pop cans, cheese graters, sticking people with knives, and I got to admit, Luke, he is going to be a very difficult foe to defeat. But I am going to say this, that he will not defeat Luke Bushwhacker, and it's simply based on one principle, because I have the brains and he has the brawn, and the combination, a marriage of these two factors doesn't go like water and oil. No, it doesn't. It emulsifies, and it goes into this realm where I would like to call it absolute perfection. I can see what's going to happen before it actually happens in the ring, Viva. Do you understand? So if he's going to go in his mind and conceive of perhaps going into his boot for a foreign object, I'll call that out. And Luke listening to me because he may not look that bright, but he's quite a, quite susceptible to my mental prowess. He will listen and then he will have the advantage over Scullion. He will be able to have a, 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 a type of a response before there was even an action. Wizard, I, I'm also very well aware of the past of uh, classic wrestling and uh, nefarious foes such as the Iron Sheik and, and evil moves such as the Camel Clutch, which you might want to demonstrate on me perhaps, but right now tell me... You would uh, only be so lucky. Oh. <laughs> tell me, uh, can you demonstrate these powers of future perception? That future perception? I knew you were going to ask I that even proof. before even before you asked, I was prepared, and we have not set anything up to make you look good, although already you look fantastic and smashing. Hey. Wow. I have to admit. <laughs> Don't hey, think. from the toes to the nose, That's mate. Correct. Just like, wizard, like, that how can I concentrate on the show when I've got Viva beside me? Wow! Look at the Sheila. All I want you to do right now, hold this pencil. I want you to look into my eyes, and I want you to state a simple thing, just a simple idea to show you my powers. State any number you wish between one and a thousand. One that comes to your mind. Don't pick the first one that comes to your head. Change your mind. Now, say that number out loud for the audience at home to see well, my and first hear. one was 97. And then you changed it to? 98. 98. And why did you pick 98? Because you said not the first number I That is of. right, but that is the reason why, is because I had 98 written down <laughs> on the piece of paper before we even tried the experiment. And that is just a number. Can you imagine an offense built around this concept of a manager who can not only read his opponent's minds, but control the opponent in the ring as well. And But this man doesn't need control. This man is a master. He's a legend of wrestling. I tell you, this man is one of the most recognized faces, and it is an ugly mug. But this forehead didn't get all carved up from sitting around and playing video games and eating cheese doodles. This got all carved up from being in the ring like with men like Bruiser Brody and Abdullah the Butcher and Andre the Giant, the legends of wrestling. And look at who's sitting here still to this day. Look who's still in the ring night after night after night, winning, 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 winning. I don't deal with losers. I only deal with winners. And this man, in my opinion, is one of the most incredible athletes in the world today. Luke, take it away. Whoa! Wizard, you said it all, mate. But I'm telling you, fans out there, over the years, I've been through many a matches. Back in the 70s and 80s, hardcore, Barbed wire cage matches, barbed wire matches, fire matches, four-way chain matches, boot camp matches, you name it all.
Royal uh, Rumbles. The Royal Rumbles. I ventured on from NWA to WWE. The biggest platform in the world in wrestling entertainment. Traveled all over the world. We had titles in 37 countries. We wrestled in 50 countries. From down under, my home country, New Zealand. Right up to Japan. And right you would know about right, going down under, wouldn't you? Be? Right down under. Oh That's boy, right. you talk about the bushwhacker now. Does he want to go down under? Whoa! Doesn't he look? Doesn't he look lovely, mates? That brings out the that brings out the bushwhacker, not the sheep murderer. Remember the restraining that, order. I know, I know. Hold me back, mate. Hold me back. Oh, she looks lovely, mate. She, hey, she's got a book in her. No, it's not Abdullah. The female Abdullah, mate. Whoa. -ho. Imagine their child. Wizard, oh wizard. boy. Now you Pulled remember up. this. Yeah, very much so. Wizard, you were in this very studio many moons ago, and you performed this amazing feat, and I saved this. Would you be able to demonstrate to the viewing audience? That is your known power? as psychokinesis, Viva, and I gotta tell you this. It is very simple to execute this ability. All I need to do is concentrate, and something made out of metal. Something made out of flesh, an opponent, will be contorted to my will. Watch this. If I think about the spoon, and I will it, my mind controls the very molecules of matter. My mind can bend objects with just willpower. I don't even have to do it fast. I can think about it, and it will bend, and it will contort. It will twist, and it will break a full 90 degrees of solid steel. And this is just a spoon. Can you imagine a human being falling in the middle of the ring to my mind and then being finished off with his size 18 boots? Be merciful, please. There's no mercy! When the pit bull gets loose, he tears the flesh apart. That's right. But when the bushel gets loose, he does a little kicking and a lot of licking. Whoa, look at this beaver. Doesn't she need a good licking? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Gentlemen. wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a twist in the spoon. Here, that's for you. The next visit, you'll have a whole set. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on the show. Once again, Saturday, August 28th at the Lee's Palace. Be prepared for mayhem in the ring. And if you wish to tune in to a future episode of this program, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you, gentlemen. You will subscribe. Yay! Nice work. Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. That was smooth. <laughs> uh, maybe a bit outrageous.